Our project was Shantytown, and we were partnered with Habitat for Humanity. Their goals are to build homes for families that lack adequate housing needs. Shantytown promoted the awareness of homelessness by sleeping in cardboard boxes for one night. Our group raised $515 by having people sponsor us to sleep in these boxes. And then from participating in Shantytown, we learned that not or only having a cardboard box to sleep in is not ideal, and that we take many daily routines like showering, food, and shelter for granted. <coughs> Conceptions of being poor and the power of teamwork and volunteering. And my group was meeting basic needs. Um, as we said earlier, we take many things for granted. Um, from this picture here, the bottom of the pyramid, those are your essentially your extremely basic needs. The others, there are needs, but not if you don't have the bottom, you're not going to be able to build the rest of the pyramid. And without having food, water, shelter, clothing, the pyramid is going to crumble without having a solid bottom. When that's what habitat does, is it brings you the shelter that they can complete their pyramid. Um, my group focused on misconceptions of being poor. We focused on three different uh, main misconceptions that we did. One of them was a lot of people think that people stay on welfare forever, which is not true. Um, in reality, many leave after the first year, 70% 70 with 70 within the first two years, and almost 90% within the five years. The next, the next misconception that we did was that a lot of people think that there aren't a lot of poor people in America. Um, in truth, in 2010, the poverty rate has risen to 15% or 46.2 million people. Um, the total income for a family of four who is considered to be in poverty has the total income of $23,000. Another big misconception people have is that everyone thinks poor people are lazy, which is not true. Many haven't had the opportunities that we take for granted, as in education or just the support that many of us do have. Uh, many work hours just to get paid a fraction of what a normal, a normal person would. and. Many also walk to work because they don't have a car or just the ability to have a driver's license. Um, the, all right, yeah, the, the activity that we did is that we took these three big misconceptions and found pictures to depict it. Um, we then cut the uh, pictures out into puzzle pieces and had volunteers try to put them together and then try to figure out what these pictures represented. Okay, our group did the power of teamwork and volunteering. Andrew Carnegie once said, teamwork is the ability to work together toward a common vision, the ability to direct individual accomplishments toward organizational objectives. It is the fuel that allows common people to attain uncommon results. A strong team has communication, everyone participating, and a shared goal. For our activity, 
we took away the communication and we had everyone try to line up in order of birthday using only hand signals or something like that and it showed how hard it is to work as a team if everything isn't present. Someone once said, volunteering is the ultimate exercise in democracy. You vote in elections once a year, but when you volunteer, you vote every day about the kind of community that you want to live in. So why volunteer? It helps others, it improves your community, and it makes you feel good. So um, when, we, when we partnered with uh, hum, uh, Habitat for Humanity, um, Svea came in, uh, the, pretty much the leader of uh, Habitat for Humanity, and she said that uh, they actually help a bunch of people um, get into houses, and they actually they build houses. You know, they built a house that um, that they can live in, but throughout the years they can um, they can expand out into that idea of what they want to do. It just helps them get into the houses and off the streets, and and uh, yeah, and it really showed that teamwork can be evolved and everything. And uh, if you put, they make you put in 200 sweat equity hours to build your house and be able to live in that house. And that actually shows, and they actually bring you to help build other houses too and help volunteer as well. Hi, I'm Trayton. Uh, I participated in Shantytown this year and I thought it was a unique experience. Uh, it was neat to be able to see what it was like to be homeless for a day. Uh, not many people get to actually go try it, or if they have thought about it, they haven't done it before. Uh, so it was kind of neat to see what it was like once again. Uh, a little bit of hard floor, but what can you do? It's nice to know what it was like. Uh, during Shantytown, I found out how truly grateful I am to have a home. Learning about Habitat for Humanity really made me realize how hard poor people really were. Our class is very grateful 